we're talking boots, rubber boots, rubber hunting boots. Stick with me. All right, so I wanted to make a quick video um, about, kind of like the intro says, boots. Um, specifically the boots that work for me during the whitetail season in upstate New York and um, from early season to late season. So I'm going to start with the first pair of rubber boots that I really invested in um, that I ended up using for an entire season. Probably shouldn't have, um, but I did. And towards the end of the season, my feet were absolutely frozen. And I ended up not spending as much time in the stand as I probably would have liked to because of that. Uh, but let me hop into them real quick. So those are the Muck Arctic Ice boots in Mossy Oak Camouflage. Um, I love these boots. I love them. There's a couple reasons. I'll give you a couple reasons why I love them. And then I'll tell you, you know, what I already mentioned is, is they're not too good in the cold. But anyways, um, fiber mouth sole with a proprietary ice grippy stuff. Um, which I'm sure helps with wet climbing sticks in the early season. Um, that's the first thing that I really do love about them. The other thing I like about them is that um, they're, they fit around your foot really, really well. So there's, you really get a lot of dexterity. Um, with other rubber boots, you don't feel that all the time. With these, you definitely get that, and I love that. But that's also kind of the reason, part of the reason why it, it doesn't do the greatest job during the late season. Um, when there's not a lot of air for your body heat to be trapped in inside a boot, it tends to let the cold in more than it traps you know, heat. So um, with that being said, when you have a boot that is um, got a lot of dexterity, really close fit, it's just not going to be... Um, the warmest boot and that works for for gloves mittens too I mean you think about a mitten you know it's it's puffy it, you don't really can't really use your hands very much but it's warm um, that's exactly how this is I can I can really feel things in my feet I know what I'm stepping on you know it's probably a good boot for I don't know if you have lanes and you're stalking grassy lanes or something like that but in any case um, they're not warm they're not very, very warm. They're good for early season, probably down to 50 degrees, um, maybe 45. After that, I would say no. Um, what else? Oh, they are five millimeters of neoprene with fleece lining. So they marketed these. The reason I use them for a whole season is because they marketed them as being a lot warmer than what they are, somewhere in the negative um, temperature zone Fahrenheit. So uh, they're not that. So. That's that. That is that boot. Um, I've used these for three years. So, you know, as I said, one year, whole season, two years, early to mid season. And I, I do love them. You know, I love them for what they are. That's the Muck Boot Arctic Ice. So, the next boot that I ended up buying the year later, because I don't like freezing feet and I like to spend as much time in the stand as possible, is the Lacrosse Alpha Burley Pro 1600 gram. Insulate boot. This thing is a beast. Um, it keeps your feet warm. And I mean warm down to like 20, 15, 10 degrees. That's how cold I hunted in, in public land this year. And it kept my feet warm. So there's some trade-offs. You know, it's uh, life's a thing of trade-offs. So um, one, there's no Vibram sole. No special grippy whatever. That may or may not help, but um, none of that. It's their own proprietary sole. I don't necessarily think that's a huge problem. I think the sole works just fine. But, it, you know, if you really like Vibram, it doesn't happen. Um, the other thing about this boot is it is just huge. There's a lot of air in there and it helps with the warmth, helps retain warmth. Um, it's bulky. It's, it's uh, the opposite of dexterous. Um, but that's, that's why I use it for the late season. You know, it, it just works really well for what it's made for. Um, I do like the fact that it's got a, a kind of a drawstring gusset on there um, for your, your calf. I like it and I don't like it because I just don't feel like it, there's not, there, I don't feel like it's tight enough. I can't get it tight enough. 
Now, if I'm stuffing my pants down in there, it probably would be tight enough, um, or it would get tighter. But I feel like it's made for people with bigger calves if you're only wearing a base layer down in there. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to do a really quick video. Those two boots, um, one is not better than the other. They're both phenomenal boots, um, just great. Um, it's just the mucks are, are much better for early season, and the lacrosse are better for late season. I mean, that's what they're made for. So we, what each one is made for, in my humble opinion. So I hope this helped you. Um, yeah, we'll see you.